Hey guys, this is Dabs Nishmail. In today's tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to use the Image Hotspot tool in WYSIWYG Web Builder version 17. So the Image Hotspot tool is a tool that allows you to have an image in your WYSIWYG Web Builder website project and then add some form of interactive element in different forms. So if you take a look at my screen now, you notice that there's the first image over here which happens to be the map of the entire world and at various continents you have an icon here with a tooltip and then there's even an animation that comes around each of the icons so once you put your cursor or you hover your cursor over the icon it gives you information which you can even link you can add a link so if you look at the bottom left you notice that there's a link so you come to south america you come to North America, you come to Europe, Russia, Australia, and then you come to Africa. Now, when you scroll down here, you notice that there's even an entire tooltip, which like this, like a pop-up card, which you can even add more information to it. And then when you come to this section, once you hover on the respective state of United States of America, then you see the name of that state. So in this video, we are going to learn how to achieve or accomplish some of this. You may not be able to complete everything in this tutorial, but if you are not able to do that in this tutorial, we will be looking at different ways or um, other ways you can go about using the image hotspot tool in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So let me just go ahead and then launch my WYSIWYG Web Builder um, here. So as you can see, I have it open. Now this is a sample image I was just exploring with. So let me just go ahead and then delete this um, image and then come to the two box here so i'll go ahead to the two box here and then search for the image hotspot so i have it here i'll just click on it and then draw on the canvas now once i do that it is going to open a pop-up window for me to select the image i intend to use for my image hotspot so i'll just scroll through and select this world map here and maybe I increase the prior, um, the size a little bit over here and let me just go ahead and then position this in the center of my page. Now once that is done, then I'll double click on the image. Now once you double click on the image, there are a couple of things that are happening here. So under general, you have the image itself where you can select a retina version. So retina version is sort of a high quality image where you can select that as part of um, this so that if you are using um, devices that requires retina images then it, that is going to be shown to them and then you have the title of the image so if you want to add a title and then description so description is going to help with search engine optimization and then under miscellaneous you have um, the chance to select the type of fonts you want to use whether font or some icons or material icons by google and then how you want the um, image um, hotspot image um, to to behave whether it should be fill contain cover you can select that here as well and if you are using this in layout grid whether you want it to be full width or you want it to be um, that is um, as it is and you also have under style you can specify the border on the image that's the image hotspot to here you can specify the color of the border the radius and then the width of the border and then when you come to hotspot so this is the uh, parts we are very much interested in this is where you add all your hotspots so this is a hotspot this is a hotspot this is a hotspot it's basically um, adding some information to our image so this is just an image which is here but these are making it a little bit more interactive so once you come back this is where you add your um, hotspots now if you look at the right hand section there are various ways by which you can add a hotspot it could be a circle it could be a rectangle it could be a polygon an icon and so on you might be asking yourself why do we have different ways of adding um, a hotspot over here so for circle for instance you know circle as a round um, object so if you want to add a hotspot to a, a round object that is where you might want to be using a circle so let's say we have um, this particular image we had a round section where we want to be able to add a circle to maybe a hotspot for that particular section then that is where we are going to be using the round 
part or the circle part now if you want to use a rectangle it's the same way if we have um, a square or a rectangle we can use this for that so when you click on this you notice that you have to specify some coordinates over here when you click on the rectangle also you notice that you have to specify coordinates so for the rectangle because a rectangle or a square has four different sides and that of a, a circle it's just um, a continuous line, but you need to specify the x axis coordinate as well as the y axis coordinate, and then the radius of the entire circle. Yeah, so you can have something like an oval with this particular um, configuration. And then when you come to polygon, so um, before I touch more on polygon, let me just show you one more thing. When you scroll here, you notice that for any aspect of this particular um, state, if I hover over it, it shows me California so this was achieved with a polygon so let me show you how the polygon works so if you click on add you have the chance to specify the coordinates that you want to add so let me just say maybe 55 maybe 70 when I click on this and okay and okay and it's going to add um, a polygon somewhere I think I should be looking I should be looking at where this is going to be or let me just let me just come back and add more coordinates so let me just see 200 300 and add and add more coordinate to 400 455 500 and click on ok now you also notice that uh for a circle this is all you are limited with you also notice that for a rectangle this is all you are limited however for a polygon you have the chance to add um a couple of coordinates for the um, the polygon over here. So if I click on OK, I should see the polygon somewhere on my screen. So as you can see, this is one of the polygons. This is one. The cool thing about this particular tool is that I can adjust the position of my polygon. So if I wanted to do something for, let's say, Africa, let me just, uh, if I want to do something for Africa, let me see if I can get hold of these polygons again. If not, I might have to redo it. So if I want to do something for Africa, let me just add um, and 90. If I want to do something, oh, sorry, this is actually not um, South America over here. I should be able to select the respective um, polygon that I want to um, tweak the size and the position of and then be even be able to add more polygons to it that's basically what i'm trying to do but it seems i'm finding it difficult to select the polygon so let me just add more polygons here and uh let me just add more here and see if i can get hold of it from this particular um, section i can't seem to let me just change the color for the background image i'm um, the background color to black to see if I'll be able to um, get hold of the polygon. Okay, good. So I have two here. I think I should have more. There's one here. I can move this here because I want to just uh, have a tooltip for, let's say, the South American part here. So if I want to add more, I think there's a way to add more here. So add uh, polygon hotspot. So let me just okay this brings me here i can add more there's another way to add up to these over here let me see if okay this is even one let me move this here okay good so as you can see that's a point there i can add as many as i want for this particular polygon uh, and i can go ahead to tweak it i'm trying to see if i can add more without coming to the property section of this let me just right click on this and see if I can add to it. If not, you might just have to go back to add as many as you want. And then once you're done, you'll be able to uh, reposition them based on what you want to achieve. So let me not spend so much time over here. Let me just leave this as this. Let me just maybe put this over here and maybe this over here as well. And let's just assume this is for South America. And when I come back here and then I come to two tip, you notice that for the hotspot, I can actually add information. That is the tooltip. So once I enable tooltip and then I click on OK, nothing is going to happen because I haven't specified 
what this particular section represents. So let me come back here, come to hotspot, and then under the polygon, I need to put a title. So let's just say that is South America. Then go ahead and click on OK, click on OK. And then when I preview this on the browser, you notice that once I hover my cursor within the section where I specified my polygon, this is going to show me South America. Now, probably I'm done with that. I want to be able to add something like this. So something like this with even the animation that you see around it. So we've basically achieved something similar to this by using the polygon. Now, if I want to be able to do something like this, I simply will have to use the icon. So I'll double click on this come to hotspot and then click on add icon. This is where I select the icon I want to use, specify the position of it as well as the size. So for the size, because I want it to be visible enough, I'll make it 50 and then icon, I'll select the information icon. Um, that is the information icon here and then I'll click on it and then click on it and click on it. So you notice that at its position here, now I can change the position of this uh, by simply coming here and then specify the position by that changing the left and then the top. So if I change the left, it is basically going to push the icon away from the left section. That is if it is plus, if it is minus, and it's going to go away. Another way to position icons or hotspot is simply click on it and then move it to the specific um, location or where you want to have it on your image. Um, your image. So once I have its position here, I'll double click on it again and then come back to hotspot. And then because I want to have a tooltip for this particular um, icon, I'll change this to Africa. And then after doing that, you notice that there's icon color, there's background color. By default, the icon color gives us the color of the icon. Now, if I want to be able to achieve something like this, I need to also specify a background color. So I'm going to change the background color to this and then the icon color instead is going to be white. And then I'm going to enable pulsate animation. That is what is going to bring about that pulse like animation. So as you can see, now you notice that my icon is square. So if I want to be able to change that as well, I have to come back to my icon and then change the radius to something more than one. 80 to see how that is going to look. So if I preview this, you notice that I'm beginning to have a perfect circle. So if I want to get a perfect circle, normally a perfect circle should have an angle degrees of like 360. So maybe I can just keep changing this till I get, okay, this is even 360. So I can just go ahead and then maybe leave it and change this rather to 40 and click on OK, click on OK, and then preview this again. And as you can see, I have a complete um, rounded um, icon over here, which is having this um, posit animation applied to it. Now to be able to even link these hotspots to different section of the website, I'll just double click on any of them. And then where I have link, I specify where this I want this to go to. The same for this. Once I double click on it and come to link, I'm able to specify where I want to have this link or go to. So this is one form or one way of going about using the um, hotspot image too. And subsequent tutorials, you'll be looking at how to even go about adding some effect, um, adding some um, events to the hotspot um, in WYSIWYG Web Builder version 17. So. That will be about it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. In case this is your first time um, coming by my channel, kindly do subscribe to the channel and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime I have a new video, you get to see it. So once again, my name is Dapsin Ishmael. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.